a new $2,000 for federal level stimulus check to go out for everybody in the nation in the 2023 stimulus update will slowing inflation take stimulus aid off the table for the 2023 there is a no way current congress would come to an agreement on providing more funding for a poor federal level stimulus check well if you have said that then i would probably not necessarily agree with you because the money is just sitting around there this must be done in a correct way so there is no legal issue issues regarding that one congress can literally flip one day that could unfold so many things today in this video i'm gonna be covering all the important details regarding a poor federal level stimulus check and here's the thing guys i'm going to spoil all the details they are basically saying no it's not the poor stimulus check is not disposed out of a table in fact they had a promise over two years a two thousand dollar stimulus check and that promise basically gone unfulfilled and they have couple of reason why still it's a possibility and a strong one in 2023 and stick around till the end because today in this video i'll be covering for you the stimulus check in various different states and eventually these stimulus check will be spilling over right here in however quickly before we start this video guys make sure to smash that like button for me that really helps us pushing out all these videos make sure to check out our channel how to guys and subscribe with all the bell notification turn on whether it's a snap ebt pebt social security ssi the benefit issuance date raises to your benefits latest tip stimulus update without wasting any time let's discuss all the important details okay so let's start off with the details and as you may know in the u.s government have been providing the stimulus aid to individuals and businesses in an effort to boost the economy during the covid 19 pandemic however some experts are now questioning whether the stimulus check may be taken up to the table if the inflation slows down now here's the thing there is a no way current congress would come to an agreement on providing more funding for a poor federal level stimulus check well, if you have said that, then I would probably not necessarily agree with you because it's very unlikely. However, I would like to let you know that there is a still leftover stimulus funds from the previous packages. If you check out the previous packages fundings right over here, you can see the money is just sitting around there that were originally meant to help out people, American residents. And we are talking about tons of money. These funds could be tapped into and used for the stimulus provision. And actually, there is a committee response responsible for handling all those money right over here this committee is responsible for the federal budget this is the covid money tracker responsible for tracking all the funds that went out for the pandemic so out of our administrative actions out of 1 trillion we got 0.2 trillion still remaining right here in the legislative actions out of 6 trillion we still have like 0.5 trillion remaining and then right here into the federal reserve actions out of a 7.1 trillion dollars we have actually got couple of money remaining like about two and a half trillions or dollars or so you can check it out all the details this one is a covid money tracker and they have got all the details where the money is allocated where the money is still sitting in you can check out this one is a covid money tracker.org but basically right over here you can see right here in the legislative actions we have got the orange bar we got six trillion dollars which was set aside to go out and help out the stimulus provisions and out of that 5.5 trillion has been distributed which means literally like hundred billion dollars left just sitting over there that could be used to send out stimulus check and honestly this one is uh, still enough to send out like two thousand dollars for federal level stimulus check to everybody right here in the nation so i get it even congress can't agree on the legislative new spending congress still holds the power of all the money but here is the thing president could use their executive action to reallocate those existing funds we are not talking about just extra money we are talking about the existing money which was or originally allocated for helping our people president could use executive actions to reallocate those funds no new funds just the old funds which are already sitting there they could reallocate those existing funds and not new funds we are talking about to help out people with the pandemic we have actually seen before like the former president donald trump who did the program to enhance boost and extend out those unemployment benefits during the pandemic so it has been done before it's not a new thing again but here is the thing this must be done in a correct way so there is no no legal issues regarding that one currently like we are seeing like spending on those loan grants the student loan day forgiveness that was done by executive action by president which was currently being challenged but honestly this one is a possibility i wanted to let you know the fund is still there and there is a possibility just wanted to let you know the fact now coming over to the most important point let's check out this article what it has to say it says will slowing inflation take stimulus aid off the table for 2023 well inflation was a 
major problem for the consumers in the 2022. In the June 2022, the Consumer Price Index CPI figures which measure the changes in the cost of consumer goods rose to about 9.1% on annual levels. But thankfully, the pace of the inflation has slowed steadily since then. And right here in the December 2022, the CPI came out just at 6.5%. Now, that's still a high reading on a historical basis but considerably lower than 9.1%. So that's a good change. We can clearly see the cooling of the inflation is a good thing if it costs less for people to function and cover their basic living costs. They can apt to start struggling less and racking up less credit card debt. But all that simply boils down to a very important question. Will this easing out inflation take the stimulus check off the table for the 2023? That's a really important question that we have. Inflation isn't all that relevant and it's a big misconception that inflation is what dictates whether the stimulus check will hit Americans' bank accounts or not. Rather, the stimulus aid hinges on the state of the economy, namely unemployment rate and consumer spendings. Speaking of unemployment, when jobless levels are high and consumer spending starts to decline, lawmakers can use the stimulus checks as the way to pump the money into the economy to give a quick lift as they needed it and when the unemployment levels are low and consumer spending holds steady then there is generally no need for stimulus check why would there be and that's the reason why cooling inflation levels won't necessarily take stimulus aid off the table for the year 2023 but to be clear inflation has little to do with the stimulus check so whether it's a high or low level of inflation it's almost irrelevant with that said the fact that the inflation is easing definitely a good news for consumer consumers, cost of living will be getting into a more moderate levels. Let's say an item purchased in 2020 for $40 would have costed more than $45 in the 2022 based on the inflation. So that's a massive jump I would say. So it's too soon to apply similar numbers to 2023 because we have only just started off the year and we don't have the fresh inflation data just yet. The January's data for example won't came in until the February but either way slowing inflation is a good thing. Anyone who bummed out not getting a stimulus check should realize that the relief from soaring cost of living might go a lot further than a one-time paycheck like a stimulus check. That brings us to the important question, are 2023 stimulus check a definitely no? Well, not necessarily actually. There is always a possibility of a recession, something nobody wants actually, but many financial experts have been warning for a recession coming in the months. So we can't write the idea of the economic conditions worsening to a notable degree. In that case, a stimulus check could come into a play if jobless levels really skyrocket. But that's obviously not something anyone should want in the long run. That said, cooling inflation may be a sign that we are going to be able to avoid recession if the pace of the inflation continues to slow. The Federal Reserve might pump the brakes on aggressive interest rate hikes and that could make it so that the consumers are not forced to slash their spending drastically. And if spending holds steady then we can probably avoid an economic slowdown. So all told easing inflation is very much a good thing even if it don't lead to a specific sum of money in individuals bank account. And that's the basic reason right over here I never say 100% you are going to get a poor federal level stimulus check. Also I'm not denying the possibility of a poor stimulus check because of these things from whatever I seen learned a couple of past years. Uh, well congress can literally flip one day we will never know what's going on what's happening with the economy and that could unfold so many things so guys i will keep you up to date on all the important updates as the news rolls out but still if you check it out on the state level there are lots of states which are giving out stimulus money in different levels different forms of stimulus checks so certainly you can take advantage of those be sure to check those videos out on your channel make sure to hit that like that really helps us also subscribe to our channel how to guys and this is kedar from how to guys signing out